Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that share button. And welcome back to another episode of Birmingham Walking and Talking and Riding and Sliding with your boy, Courtney P. So today, we're talking about a nonprofit movement in Birmingham, Alabama. And this young lady is going to let you know all about her movement here in Birmingham, Alabama. Let us know your, main, your name, ma'am, and what you represent. I'm Dina Dickerson. I represent the Offender Alumni Association. We're known as OAA. We're a nonprofit organization that started eight years ago just helping individuals come from prison and reintegrate back into society. So we created a supportive community for those individuals. Uh, it birthed us into our community give back project where we adopted Tittiesville as our give back neighborhood where we did some lawn care for elderly and disabled people for free year round. Uh, that ignited us to go back into the prisons to let others know that we were out here, we were doing well, we were being successful, we weren't returning to prison and we would be able to bridge them to the resources that are available to help them within their communities to reintegrate and continue to move forward and leave their past behind. At that point, two years into it, we birthed our youth program. Why not? Because those are the kids that end up in the penal system just like we did without a choice really because of the systemic structures that are there in five years for what our heroes in the hood is thriving over in the Woodlawn community where we engage with young men 13 to 17 years old and help them redirect their thinking and hopefully uh, ignite something within them that makes them make better choices uh, in spite of the things that they're living through and that help them to identify some of the struggles, stressors, as well as the traumas that they suffer through, you know, and connect them with mentors. Uh, to help them just navigate what maleness is, growing into adulthood, living through some of the environmental things that are there that plagues them, that that's there and they can't do anything about it. But you can do other things other than what it is that you see. So that's us in a nutshell. We just birthed our violence intervention program, which we'll be launching next year. Uh, we're doing it over in Atlanta. We've been doing it, but it's a full program now. So that's who we are. So, it's always good to talk to people that's doing good things in the community. And then one thing I'm a big advocate for is rehabilitation. And so that's what it sounds like. This young lady's trying to rehabilitate. She's not just re rehabilitating. She's also asking these people to do their part and giving back as well. Because we all have to do our part. Before we close out, did you want to give out any of your social media, um, any contact information for a young person? You know, that may be in need, or maybe an older person that may want to this, you know, been down the road and they want to give back, you know, and, and help out with your movement. They can always visit our website at www.offenderalumni.org. They can email me at ddickerson at offenderalumni.org. They can call 205 901 8485. That's my direct number. They can also call the office at 205 916 that's our hub at Impact Family Counseling on the south side. Hey, this is Dina OAA. So, like we say all the time, we're going to keep it positive. We're going to keep it pushing. We are real, we rehabilitating people in Birmingham, Alabama. And you heard Miss Dina again and again and again. Thanks for Get walking and work, talking baby. and riding and sliding with your boy, Courtney P. and Miss Dina again and again and again. OAA.